everybody, it's your girl Niall Campbell with WHUT Digital and I'm here joined by the cast of David Makes Man. Woo, Not yeah. David Makes a Man, but David Makes Man. man. Yes. Um, we got Travis, oh I'm sorry, Travis Cole, I was about to say Travis McDowell, but we got Travis Cole, <laughs> I was about to combine names, Achille McDowell, who's making, are you making your acting debut or what is this? Um, you can say that. Your star is. Yeah. Oh, he is yeah. the star, he is the David, star. right? Yes. yes. David. David that makes <laughs> And then we got the showrunner, D. Harris Lawrence. Yeah. All right, I had to make sure I got that right mm -hmm. as well. Um, and I'm here joined by you guys. I'm so excited for the show. So you guys, can you just tell me a little bit about the show? For um, it is about a 13-year-old prodigy who basically uses the power of his imagination to get through a childhood trauma. It's also about how he uh, goes from his own neighborhood and code switches into his school mm -hmm. where he's in a magnet program. Um, uh, where he's one of pretty much three African American kids who are like in um, the magnet program in the classroom. And it's about how he um, navigates each side mm -hmm. and how he navigates. And it's, there's so many things in it. We also celebrate like excellence and dance and music, incorporating all that as part of his imagination, mm -hmm. um, magical realism. It, it's, it's a lot. Awesome. Yeah. And then can you tell me, you know, being David and being this character, how did you relate to him? Um, David grows up in a single parent household. His mom, she works extremely hard, just as my mom worked extremely hard to raise three kids. And, um, just that, how he sometimes feels he has to make those grown man decisions to be successful in life. And how old are you in real life? I'm 16. You're 16, so he's oh not much older. He was 15 oh. when we were shot. 15. Oh, and he's, he was in probably about, what, 99% of the shots? So. Yes. That's <laughs> awesome. So you're not 25 years old, man. <laughs> He was literally still in school. You were going to school. Yes. He's going to school and being on set. So you were getting tutored on set, or what were you doing? You were going to school. I was getting tutored on set. Yeah. Like, we had yeah, a school teacher. Because we had a lot of kids. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. right. That was about childhood trauma, which is not something that's discussed on television. Mm -hmm. But when you are working on the show as a showrunner and when you're acting on the show, did you find yourself reflecting on your own childhood and how it affected you as an adult? Oh, 100%. I actually think that this show is something that made me look into my own like personal life and how it has affected me because I don't think we talk about that a lot. Um, as a community, as a people, I feel like I grew up and people are just like, pick yourself up by your bootstraps, like dust yourself off, everything's okay. But really, I think with this show, um, for me, learning that you can have a trauma as a child and it literally is affecting the way that you are as an adult. Why am I making these decisions now? Mm -hmm. You know, and how did I get here? Yeah. And it's just such a beautiful story and I think it's very, very important. Awesome. And what about you with Sherman? Um, I think was, well, when, even when I first met Terrell um, to um, interview for the showrunner position, mm -hmm. after I read the script, um, I told him I just I kind of sat there for a little bit because you don't get to read these type of scripts. Um, and have, and suddenly you're going, okay, and only is going to put this on. Mm -hmm. I mean, what other show do you know that's starring an Af a young African American boy? Mm -hmm. And then I read it again. And then when I went and talked to him, I was basically, I am the female David. Mm -hmm. It's like I used the power of my imagination, I was a daydreamer, to get through the neighborhood. Wow. And like as a young girl, when you turn, you know, 12, 13, and it was as early as 11 for me, you have different eyes on you. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out how you're going to navigate through all that. I think those, they're not talked about in the community, they're not shown. Yeah. And childhood trauma doesn't have to be like death or it's all, everything that you have to go through, yeah. hearing the gunshots, hearing the helicopters, knowing what you're navigating through your entire neighborhood, you get to the place of your school where they're saying, you are gifted, now you're gonna do this, and you're going, okay, I need to like change to go here, I have to like shift to go here, I have to make, who am I in all these different places? Mm -hmm. I mean, so much so that I have different names everywhere. My name, my family calls me by my middle name, Janice. I, when I first, they could pronounce my name Denitria, so I was no, known as, so I was pretty. short, so they called me, thank you. They called me Baby D, and then it became D, so it was like all these, you know, and I know how to be in each one. Yeah. So I think it's, it's our show deals with a lot of that, even with, um, from the, you know, the mother, Gloria, which I wish um, um, Alana could be here today, but the way she portrays this young mother, you know, and how she's trying to keep the family together is, is fantastic. And what do you want viewers to get from your role with David? That like you can you 
can relate to every character in this show. Okay. You know how sometimes it's only like one character you relate to, but every character has a story of its own. Mm -hmm. You can see yourself in every character of this show. Really. Awesome. And you said to Ralph, can we talk about who is the creator of yes. this? Yes. Because you slightly see? named him. Terrell Alvin McCraney. Um, just, you know, he's a genius, brilliant. Uh, he was just nominated for a Tony for his uh, play, Bar Boy. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, he created the show, David Makes Man. He also won the Oscar for co writing Moonlight in the screenplay. An Oscar, just yeah. as an Oscar. You know, so, yeah. and you know, <laughs> like he has a, the drama department at Yale. I mean, yeah. so, cause, yeah. and he's right now, he's starring in Chicago at Stephen Wolf. Yeah. Um, Miss Black the President. I'm like, cause you know, he has yeah. so much time on his hands. So much time, right? <laughs> and then also like teaching kids here in Miami. Yeah, during the summer. Like, yeah. 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 I mean, goodness. He also, is, uh, I, yeah. I love how modest we are, cause he was literally nominated for, the choir was nominated for four Tony. I know. And we were just like, oh, okay, yeah. that's normal. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, being a part of this Black Excellence, this yeah. whole team, right. is that, um, Right, we've had a deep so we've had a deep Yeah. That's awesome. And then we got Felicia Rashad, who's also yes. a part of the show. She's an educator mm -hmm. on the show. She's your teacher. Can we just talk about her role? Yes. Um, Dr. Wiz Uh David uh, has a class with her. Um, she is probably kind of the most, has a little bit the most influence. Mm -hmm. um, but she also is a very complex character okay. because she also likes the fact of, like, when you do get this education, when you do go out in the world, uh, how do you use that? Yeah. Do you bring it back to the community? Who are you afterwards? Are you just trying to, you know, get it and get out? Yeah, and have you code switched like in your own life? Do you find yourself doing that? I feel like it's natural mm -hmm. when people code switch. Like, you don't act the same as you do at home and when you do at your job or around your friends or at school. So, yeah, I feel like that code switch. Awesome. There's a voice that we like switch up. Like, <laughs> And you find yourself doing it. I don't know if you guys uh, watch like Boots Riley's movies that to bother you. Oh, oh yeah. Um, but yeah, like when like people talk on the phone and you have to do the white man voice and <laughs> yeah. it just like switches up. And then when you're around your homies, it's like Yeah, I know like, more laid back. Yeah, because we understand each other. Right, exactly. I did the straight man voice for a long time. Oh wait, the straight man voice, hold on. It's like, hey, what's up? How oh. you doing? Oh, oh what's up? <laughs> okay. Elijah is a gender non-conforming. Um, Straight man voice, you're not going to that at all. Actually, yes. Oh, you do? But I can't talk about it, and I can't say anything. But I will say that I think Miss Lush has been living in the bill for uh, forever, and is really close to Gloria. They're really good friends, and has known David all his life. And it's just basically a mirror to David, like what happens when you live your life authentically, and gets the respect from the community for being you know, authentic and not trying to hide who he is. And then I also want to talk about toxic, toxic masculinity, right? Mm. I feel like that's a conversation. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. You go. All right. I think you you're ready. Sad. I think he, yeah. No, uh, I just, I literally just had a conversation with someone today. It's just like the whole idea of what does it mean to be a man, like has been so skewed. But it just comes down to how do we treat our women? I feel like yeah. it's like, it stems down to misogyny, like all of these things. But I think that this show is just so incredible because we get to go in and we get to see like, what actually makes a man, How what do people see mm -hmm. as far as like what a man is. And with David's character, I think he's decided basically every single thing that he, every obstacle, every lesson, like he will decide where is he gonna be a man when he gets older. But like, do you like realize any conversations like with your friends like talking about like being a man and growing up and how they should treat women? Do you have these conversations with your friends? I mean, yeah, of course we have these conversations, but we usually never tend to get as deep as we do get in this show mm -hmm. about the topic of yeah, just treating women with respect. And, you know, Mm -hmm. Alright, well, um, they're wrapping me. We gotta finish the interview, but I'm so excited for the show. I'm so excited for the conversations, the Twitter. Like, people are gonna be talking on Twitter, yes, social Black media, Twitter, Black, Twitter. Black Twitter, Black Twitter, Black Twitter, Black Twitter. Black Twitter. Black Twitter. Hashtag David Makes Man yes. on OWN in August. Yes. Alright, we don't know the date yet, but it's in August. So make sure you guys tune in yeah. to all these talented actors. This has been an exclusive interview on WHUT Digital. Thank you for watching.